Hi, crafty friends. Okay, guys, do you have any old painter's tarps like out in the garage or anywhere in your house? If so, grab them because we are going to turn them into little or parts of the tarp into little rosettes. Now, if you don't have one, it's okay. They are super inexpensive. You can pick them up at a hardware store or Walmart or anywhere like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to make, um, I'm going to use that heart, the thicker one that you saw there as like my template and we're going to make the rosettes to fill that and then you can see I'm just using craft sticks um, to make the letters and just um, clipping them off to the sizes that I need and then we'll put those on the board as well but I was thinking um, when I first started this I just cut off a piece of the tarp um, and I started doing about an inch um, ish give or take um, thick um, strips and as since this heart is smaller as i started to do it i thought hmm, i don't need my all the strips to be that size so what i end up doing is some of them i kind of cut down so i love tarps i'm just kind of roughing up the edges here i love tarps because they give you that frayed look which i you guys know i love anything like antique or worn looking or whatever it might be so i was like okay this is my favorite kind of way to do it so i have an old cereal box i love how thin these are for cutting and crafting and all the things and that's just going to kind of be the base of the heart that we're going to put these on because to me it's easier to have a base and that you can kind of like fill in rather than going straight onto the wood and then you might necessarily not get it the size you want. At least the cardboard, you could kind of cut around it if you need be. I hope that makes sense. So what you kind of do is you just tie a knot in the end. I hot glue that down. And then I just start twisting the fabric and hot gluing it into place. And then you just keep twisting, twisting, twisting until you're at the end of your piece of... Um, of painter's tarp here. Now you guys, you could do this with any other fabric. It works great, but like I said, I love how much these fray. And for one big, huge tarp, you guys, I have gotten so many projects out of it and I still have so much more. So what I decided to do on parts of this was I would tie a knot off and I would not use sometimes the whole strip. So I would just cut it down as far as I needed it and just to fill in that whole area, it worked out perfect. So now I'm gonna grab this pink color and I'm going really lightly over the board. I want it to almost look stained rather than painted painted. And then we're gonna do the cool distressing technique. These are those little sponge things from the Dollar Tree. And you can see, I didn't even, you guys, clean this out. I just let it dry up this last time. I was like, oh, we'll see if it works again. And it works great. It seems like the more dried paint that's in there, it works even better. So just a thin coat of paint, and then you just swipe it over your board. I like to go horizontal and vertical. I love just that look of both ways. That way it really looks like an aged piece of board. So then what we'll do is we'll put our heart back on. I'm just gonna hot glue everything down. And then our little craft sticks, we're gonna put those in place. And that's how easy it is. But look how cute this is. Oh, I love, love, love. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to follow the page for more.